All right, last one here. It says, last week a paint store received $395.40 for selling 30 cans of paint. Small cans of paint sell for $9.98, and large cans of paint from me are free, but from the store, large cans of paint cost $17.98. How many large cans of paint did the store sell? So first, all right, X is going to represent small, and Y is going to represent large. So if I add the number of cans that were sold, that would add up to 30. Now we have to bring in the value of these cans. So small cans of paint are 9.98, so 9.98x, plus the large cans of paint, 17.98y, and that equal the total of 395.40. Now we need to eliminate one of our variables. We're actually we're solving for large cans of paint, which is y. So we want to eliminate our x variable. So if this is positive 998 in front of this x, I want to get a negative 9.98 in front of this x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole top equation by negative 9.98. So that would result in negative 9.98x minus 9.98y. Then I need to multiply by 30. I've done that calculation. Negative 299.4. And the bottom equation stays the same. And what you'll see is so now the whole point of that was creating a situation where I could cancel my x's. Now I have negative 9.98 plus 17.98. Whoops, I forgot a y here, right? So this gives me 8y. Negative 299.4 plus 395.40 gives me 96. So now I can just divide both sides by 8, and I get y equals 12. So we're only asked to solve for large cans of paint. So our final answer would be 12 large cans of paint. Nice job.